You know, I kind of joke, timing for chancellors is kind of everything. And so, you know, when you kind of take on an appointment, March 1, 2008, and the university's just doing fabulously, I certainly felt like I knew the university. I think that was my 21st year at Vanderbilt. But I don't think I could have ever kind of expected the exciting progress or the incredibly formidable headwinds that we would all face as a university. And so, um, you know, I think the, the financial crisis just kind of being dropped on us was something that I wish I could say I had foreseen. So that really, I think, set a tone, and I think it really is going to be seen as um, the biggest financial crisis since the Great Depression. I'm very proud, in the face of what I consider some pretty strong headwinds, this community, this university, the alumni, all the supporters have come together and if you look at the trajectory of the university staying true to its mission at the same time, you say, boy, they must have had some real, you know, kind of wind in their sails. And it's like, no, 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 no. This is a really challenging environment. So, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of how the university has kind of kept the American dream alive and well, you know, and kept this idea that there are kids all over. America, increasingly the world, but even in Tennessee, just great kids who need an opportunity to excel. And we've done that. You know, we have continued to provide the best health care in the world to everybody and to open our doors of our hospitals and clinics to everybody with needs. And we've provided cutting edge care. Uh, I'm very proud of the fact that we have a faculty that, you know, is one of the most distinguished teaching and research faculty in the world. I just think, you know, always building it brick by brick. You're not putting on the finishing touches, as Chancellor Kirkland said. You're just always taking your turn to try to make it better. You know, we have a mission. We educate, we discover, we serve, and we cure. Over the next five years, I think the most important things for Vanderbilt are, first of all, maintaining the access and affordability of a great liberal arts college education and a research university. That is the most important thing that we have to focus on. And that really is why we're here. That idea of an American dream at a great college and university. I think the second thing that we really have to focus on is creating a great learning environment that's a living learning environment that educates the whole student and keeps them in a community of curious, interested faculty and students. Uh, I think we have to really reinvent healthcare. And I think that this is a very, very, very important issue for the country. It is about 20% of the gross domestic product and finding really effective, efficient care solutions have to come out of Vanderbilt. I think another thing we're gonna see is entrepreneurship, innovation, the development of new technologies and companies and off the campus, hopefully to replace some of the cutbacks we know are coming, but also to integrate those in the curriculum. You know, wow, I can come to this place and be a professor, be a student, live on the campus, live near the campus, and I'm in these great classes with the best professors. I'm part of the discovery pro process. I've got an idea. So, you know, we're planning a new life science, technology, and engineering building. It's going to have an innovation entrepreneurship center. It's going to be collaborative across science, engineering, uh, uh, medicine, and it's going to have spaces for students who say, I have a project. I have an idea. Bring the alumni in, bring the community in, and move that off campus to change the world. My job is to find great people, make financial aid available, try to inspire a potential coach to come here, 
and then support them. Okay, folks, we're going to give a great football coach and we're going to win. And I was like, there's no way you're going to. I'm like, no way. I said, okay, how did we get from 8,500 applications to 31,000 applications? Is that easy? You know, how did we get from $150 million of research funding to $650 million of research funding? Is that easy? You look at a university and moving a great institution like Vanderbilt even further along, it's hard. Let's really focus on getting a great coach and make the investments to win the Vanderbilt way and become a shining star or star for college athletics. And, you know, I talked to a few athletic directors before and someone said to me, get a, a leader who's a coach, not a coach who's a leader. So um, we hired James and, you know, I just say, like, well, let's see how this happens. And I just think he's a gifted individual. And he is an inspiring individual who inspires young people, young men, to be great students and great athletes. And so I am so proud of all the sports and every area we excel in. But to be winning in football is just incredible. And it's just incredible. Got the, uh, one of the uh, original game balls from the UT win this year. Coach Franklin brought it in. Okay, now you have this incredibly smart kids coming from all over the world, diverse, excited, at a research university, living on the campus, being in this great city of Nashville, the great state of Tennessee. And then it's like, oh yeah, by the way, we, <laughs> we went five and three in the SEC. It's really amazing. So our mission is so important and so noble. And it's timeless. I want to educate somebody. Well, there's probably going to be someone in 100 years who needs a helping hand up to go to college. I want to give a scholarship. And so I think the mission I think the timeless nature of the institution. And then I truly believe that people who give generously, they really want to give to something that's excellent and that makes a huge difference. And they say, you mean there's a kid in East Tennessee whose father is a police officer Mom is a wounded veteran, and wow, they're really smart. They got into Vanderbilt. Well, I'd love to help them to get a Vanderbilt degree. That's life-changing. I mean, I had kids say to me and parents say to me, you've changed our life. I had one young man say to me, you've changed the trajectory of my family and all who will come after me in my family. I mean, that's pretty powerful stuff. And so I think as the university has continued to become more distinguished and our star is shining brighter, it's like, wow, if I give to that, it can really make a difference in someone else's life. You know, you look at healthcare and the things we're doing and personalized medicine. And you know, the, to be able to go and say, well, your cancer, we can now identify as this type of genome. I mean, that wasn't there 10 years ago when my mother died of cancer. I mean, they misidentified the cancer she had. And I'm sure today they would do it differently. That's not worth investing in. Best investment you ever make. We have gifts from the original 1870s when the Commodore gave us gifts. They still in the endowment, giving money out. And you know, I always say you can't live forever, but if you give to a great university, you probably will. Your legacy will live forever.